good evening everyone uh, so this is another video uh, second video in the quantum mechanics series okay where we'll be solving uh, some numerical problems right okay uh, let's see this will be question number five if we continue uh, we did four questions in the previous section session okay so if sigma i uh, uh, represents uh, i is equal uh, represents Pauli spin operators corresponding to spinner particle and i is the unit operator then exponential of i sigma y pi by 6 can be written as okay so sigma i is the as you know sigma is what it's your uh, Pauli matrices okay i is equal to x y z that means sigma x okay sigma x is how much sigma x is if you know sigma x is 0 1 1 0 if we write all the Pauli matrices sigma y is equal to 0 minus 1 sorry minus i 0 minus i i 0 all right i 0 then your sigma z sigma z is what sigma z is how much sigma z is 1 0 1 0 0 minus 1 right 1 0 0 minus 1 so these are your what these are your Pauli spin matrices okay 1 0 1 1 0 0 minus 1 0 minus i i 0 1 0 0 minus 1 uh, these things should always be in your mind right you should never forget these Pauli matrices all right okay so uh, this uh, to solve this question here we are asked what exponential exponential i i sigma y pi by 6 isn't it exponential i sigma i pi by 6 all right so how to solve this question see there is a uh, direct formula for this kind of questions exponential i exponential i sigma sigma dot n vector n cap so sigma dot n cap uh, theta theta is equal to i cos theta this is direct formula if you, you can write it i cos theta plus i i uh, sigma vector dot n cap sigma vector dot n cap uh, sin theta this is a formula you should remember this will really help you in uh, solving questions and this question can also be asked in the interview okay so, uh, these questions are usually asked in the interview so uh, you should be really careful about it they will ask you about uh, sigma x sigma y and sigma z they will they will even ask you how did you get this okay how did you this is see this is sigma x is equal this one this is just pure memorization okay but how did you get sigma x is equal this one you have to uh, do it okay those things will be asked in the interview so uh, exponential this theta is equal to i cos theta plus i sigma vector dot n cap sine theta all right everything is given everything almost the whole thing is there so according to the question this will be exponential exponential i exponential i sigma y pi by 6 okay exponential i sigma y pi by 6 that will be equal to what i just put those whatever in the uh, in the formula i cos pi by 6 plus i sigma dot n cap that is sigma y here isn't it sigma y sine pi by 6 okay sigma y sine pi by 6 all right i cos pi by 6 plus i sigma y pi by 6 okay all right so now what what is the value uh, cos pi by 6 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 and uh, sine pi by 6 is 1 by 2 i'll just put the values let's just put the values there so root 3 by 2 i cos theta so root 3 by 2 into i plus i 
into sigma y into sine uh, pi by 6 that was sine 30 that is 1 by 2 okay okay let me write it again root 3 i by 2 root 3 root 3 i by 2 plus i sigma y all divided by 2 all right so this is a what this is on so for exponential i sigma y pi by 6 you can do other questions like you can do uh, you can take examples in your own and solve them right? for example exponential i sigma z sigma z pi by 3 okay, you can solve it on your own just put directly in the formula so it will be how much it will be again i cos theta let me write it again i cos theta plus plus what plus i sigma z i sigma z sin theta i sigma z sin theta so that will be i cos by 3 cos 60 is 1 by 2 so i by 2 i by 2 plus i sigma z i sigma z sin uh, pi by 3 sin 60 is root 3 by 2 okay it's coming exactly the opposite places so yeah this should be the answer all right so this is your what this question we can solve this type of questions now okay it's a very uh, important question these questions uh, usually come in the exam okay yeah spin our particle this doesn't have to do anything here it's just there okay don't use it yeah so uh yeah this was the question next question a small perturbation of the form uh h cut sorry h bar is equal to h uh, naught alpha plus beta x okay this is the perturbation given h h bar is equal to what h naught this is the question number how much it will be six i think yeah. question number six so uh h bar is equal to h naught h naught alpha alpha plus beta x plus gamma x square all right alpha plus beta x plus gamma x square is added to a potential is added to a potential vx is equal to what vx is equal to alpha minus alpha uh, delta x all right minus alpha delta x the fast rate of correction to the ground state energy for a particle of mass m bound in the potential will depend on what so you are asked the first order correction okay first order correction in perturbation so this question is coming from perturbation okay so what is uh, usually perturbation perturbation is the perturbation the, like first order correction is usually the expectation value of what expectation value of the uh, perturb hamiltonian okay the perturbed uh, the perturbation usually so expectation value of h dash that will be your what uh, that will be your uh, first order correction so if we see here what will be the if we see for example this is minus infinity to infinity okay and uh, this will be what wait not minus infinity to infinity here okay for example anything the, the limit doesn't matter here um, for example minus a to a right anything minus a to a no 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 even that will be wait let's not give any limit at all just just let's see so otherwise we can do one thing see i will just write in the brackets just wait yeah so uh, if i can write this uh, this perturbation this thing here so expectation value of h naught expectation value of h naught alpha plus beta x okay alpha plus beta x plus gamma x square isn't it alpha plus beta x plus gamma x square 
this is our uh, perturbation expectation value of the perturbation so it will be what so i can write it h naught i can take it out right so uh, alpha also i can take it up or not okay see and this will be like this plus uh, beta h naught let h naught h naught be there beta then expectation value of x okay plus gamma into expectation value of x square these are constants alpha also i will tell you wait okay so this one all right i can write alpha uh, this one can i write like this alpha expectation value of x to the power minus zero isn't it okay now see these terms like this one let this one will be only alpha now you get it see expectation value of this one that means what that means exactly what integration of for example anything for example minus infinity to infinity um, this is your psi star psi star alpha psi so this is always a finite value isn't it alpha will just come out so alpha will always be there so alpha will be there beta expectation value x plus gamma expectation value x square okay this is where it get, gets interesting expectation value of x to the power n is zero if n is odd isn't it expectation value of x to the power n is zero if what n is odd okay this one you have to remember but if it is even expectation value of x square okay this is a finite value this is finite but expectation value finite means there is a numerical value expectation x to the power n will be what a zero so, so, so if n is what odd okay if n is odd that means what if you if you if we check it actually uh, for example minus a to a minus a to a uh, psi star minus a to you can check it psi star x psi dx okay this is a symmetric limit minus a to a and the if the function is odd then the integration will become zero isn't it this is an odd function isn't it odd function is again what what is odd function f of minus x is equal to uh, minus f of x right yeah so so this is again this is zero is it so this is this is what the meaning of this one is so expectation value of x is zero all right yeah so this is finite so it will have a value so what will happen here is this one whole thing will become zero so what remains alpha is remaining gamma expectation value x square is remaining so i can write the first order correction e n1 is equal to h naught h naught alpha plus gamma expectation value of x square is it clear is it clear only alpha and gamma will remain so the options will be the answer will be uh, the question was potential will depend on what potential will depend on what alpha and gamma right is it clear it was a very again very conceptual question all right so next question question number seven question number seven just a second I have to keep checking uh, whether the recording is going or not so, because once uh, I was recording the video like I thought I was recording but at the end of the video it was not recorded uh, so yeah it hurts after one hour or half an hour or 40 minutes of uh, lecture the, the video is not recording yet. so I have to check keep checking okay so state of a particle in 1d infinite potential well of width 
L is as for as uh, following. Okay. Uh, so what is the question? Psi x is given a two pi x by L plus uh, cos pi x by L, right? Uh, zero to x to one. If energy of the particle is measured, the positive values of the energy will be. Okay. First you try. First you try yourself. Then I will solve it. I'm giving you two minutes. You have two minutes to solve this question. Okay. Try. This is an easy question. This is from the basic chapter, first chapter. So you should be able to solve it. Okay, see. You can pause the video if you're, if you're still solving it. See, for a this is a infinite potential well of width L and 1D. So for 1D infinite potential well, the wave function phi n is what? Phi n x is equal to how much? Root over of root over of 2 by L root over of 2 by L sine root over of 2 by L sin n pi x by L isn't it all right there n is a 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay what is the energy energy n is simply you know n square pi square h cut square n square pi square h cut square divided by what divided by 2 ml square isn't it in square pi square h cut square by 2 ml square okay so the question is if the energy of the particle is measured the possible values of the energy will be okay see this was a gate question i think i think it was a gate question and it was an msq okay in gate msq questions come uh, for two marks so yeah if the energy of the particle is measured, the possible values of energy will be. So there will be two or three more or more than one answers. Alright. So how to do it? We will first try to write it in uh, like this. The wave function that is given. We will try to write it in the in this form. Isn't it? So let's write it. Let's, uh, let me first write the question. Psi x is equal to how much? Psi x. Psi x is equal to a sin a sin 2 pi x by l a sin 2 pi x by l into into cos pi x by l into cos pi x by l right so how can we write this see i will make it simple for you it's like sine uh, 2 theta into cos theta all right or suppose leave it anyway sine a into cos b that will help you sin a into cos b so what is sin a into cos b it is simply for example there is a 2 okay there is no 2 now so i will multiply 2 i will divide 2 okay so 2 sin a into cos b how how can we achieve 2 sin a into cos b 1 by 2 whole into sin sin a plus b okay sin a plus b plus there will be a plus in the middle. See, you have to remember this formula is sine. Even if you don't remember, you can do it. Okay. Sine A minus B. Sine A minus B. Okay. Half all into sine A plus B plus sine A minus B. So A is how much? 2 pi x by L. Uh, B is how much? Pi x by L. So I can write it or not. Tell me half. A will be there as usual. Uh, 
this will be your sine 2 pi x plus pi x that will be 3 pi x by l sine 3 pi x by l plus sine a minus b that will be sine pi x by l all right sine pi x by l sine to 3 pi x by l plus sine pi by pi x by l all right so now if we how to uh, make it uh, like our wave function if it is sine 3 pi x by l so it is sine 3 pi x by l right so can you tell me i can multiply root over root 2 by l and divide uh, divide it also so i can do this also isn't it so if i do this if you see this is what this is what pi phi 3 okay like wave function of a of the third orbit like n is equal to 3 so i can write it as phi 3 exactly like that i can do this to the other term that is l by 2 or uh, this is root over of 2 by l root over of 2 by l sine only pi x is there right sine pi x by l sine pi x by l that is equal to root over of l by 2 that is equal to root over of l by 2 phi 1 isn't it root over l by 2 phi 1 okay so if i write it now in place of this it will be what 1 by 2 a root over of l by 2 okay root over l by 2 and this will be your phi 3 this will be your phi 3 plus phi 1 isn't it phi 3 plus phi 1 so i can take this as a whole constant so i can write it as c c phi 3 c phi 3 and phi 1 all right so this is a what this is your psi isn't it this is your psi okay so mm, now you can tell me the energies or not these are two a superposition of two states so there will be two energies so e3 will be what n square pi square that will be 9 pi square 9 pi square h cut square divided by 2 m n square all right and this is the second uh, second wave function that is that will be e1 is equal to pi square h cut square pi square h cut square divided by 2 m square okay so this will be your two answers and you can uh, you can check them uh, if they are in the options or not 9 and 1 let's see 9 and 1 so this will be your option c and option a isn't it so that will be answer okay yeah so yeah see uh, this this came for two months how easy it is okay here I'm explaining you that's why it took like seven eight minutes otherwise if you do yourself you can solve it in two minutes okay if you have that much practice you can solve it in two minutes for two marks easy two marks and there is no negative marking in MSQs okay it's two into five MSQ is 2 into 5 that is 10 marks this is where you have to score okay this is where you, this is risk free and you can score 10 marks here right so yeah so practice MSQs like practice MSQs it's not like you have to do particular MSQs MSQs, MSQs are basically very conceptual question okay so you have to be really thoroughly strong in it okay next question question number 8 Question number eight. So here, in a scattering experiment, the particles are the particles are uh, scattered from a spherically symmetric potential such that the only S waves and P waves are needed to be considered. Okay, this is uh, coming from quantum scattering. Okay, uh, suppose the differential cross section can be written as d sigma theta by uh, d omega is equal to a plus b cos theta plus c cos square theta. To find the value of the total cross system, which of the following values must be known. Again, we have two minutes. This is not a question for two minutes, but I'm giving you two minutes to think. To just think, you don't even need to uh, some completely solve it. Just think about it first. Okay, thinking is very important.
okay so if you can pause the video if you're still solving it see this is what differential cross section what is differential cross section d sigma by d theta is actually what is actually the square of scattering amplitude isn't it this uh, this is from born approximation not born approximation this one this one is simply from scattering okay this is a very important formula you have to remember all right another form this if this is differential cross section this is a word differential cross section okay so there must be a total cross section isn't it so total cross section will be what sigma is equal to i have to integrate this one okay sigma is equal to double integration of d sigma by d theta double integration of d sigma by sorry i'm sorry why am i writing it theta this is omega right uh i'm sorry d sigma by d sigma by d omega this is d sigma by d omega into d omega isn't it then d omega d omega cancel d sigma integration is sigma you can remember that way that's not the proper method but you can remember it that way all right now d omega is how much in scattering d omega is what sin theta sin theta d theta and d phi okay so i'll put it i'll put it in place of d omega i will put it double integration of d sigma by d omega d sigma by d omega sin theta sin theta d theta d phi all right sin theta d theta d phi now what it a uh, limit for phi the limit is 0 to 2 pi always and for theta the limit is 0 to pi okay below it also if you are confused you can write this one as phi this one is theta okay don't write it in the exam like exam also you you'll be able to solve it also okay uh d sigma by d omega sin theta d theta d phi now what d sigma by d omega is given right so let's just put it there so integration of see integration of 0 to 2 pi d phi you can just take it out okay no necessary 0 to pi just put the value of uh, d sigma by d omega that is a plus b cos theta plus uh, c cos square theta okay c cos square theta d theta because d phi we have taken there so this becomes how much 2 pi was the integration of d phi 0 to pi now uh, okay sorry my bad i have left a sin theta here sin theta uh, sin theta was there na huh? sin theta and let it okay uh, integration integration 0 to pi a sin theta d theta a sin theta t theta plus integration 0 to pi 0 to pi b cos theta sin theta d theta b cos theta sin theta d theta plus integration 0 to pi c cos square theta sin theta d theta okay so here integrations are easy integration of sin theta d theta is how much minus cos theta i'll just write the whole it okay minus cos theta integration of cos theta to sin theta d theta tell me this one this is interesting see derivative of cos theta is there otherwise you can do one thing this one you can multiply to divide to isn't it so 2 sin theta into cos theta is how much sin 2 theta isn't it sin 2 theta 
and integration of sin 2 theta is how much minus cos 2 theta by 2 minus cos 2 theta 2 theta by 2 so just put it here this is integration and the limit will be 0 to pi isn't it limit will be 0 to pi this one also limit is 0 to pi now the last one see this is cos square theta into sin theta this is in which form the derivative of cos is minus sine right so i can multiply a sign here and write a sign here okay so derivative of cos theta is minus sine theta which is present minus sine theta is present so if see the integration thing okay i will do it here see f of n theta f to the power n theta sorry this this f to the power theta f theta to the power n f dash theta d theta or x anything okay if the thing is there and its derivative is there then it will become what f of theta to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 isn't it divided by n plus 1 so cos theta's derivative is there that is sin minus sin theta so i can write it as what cos cube theta divided by 3 isn't it minus is already there outside okay so yeah that way you have to solve this question just put the value 0 to pi 0 to pi this one also what 0 to pi right and after putting all the values you will get the answer as i'm not gonna uh, you will be able like you try to solve it yourself okay both pi by three i have told everything if you can solve it from here then then you need more practice both pi by three three a plus a. that is the final answer check whether you can you're getting the same answer or not this is what this is your total cross section we are given differential cross section d sigma by d omega and we are asked the total cross section sigma so what we did we did the double integration of d sigma by d omega with d omega okay how to remember this because d omega d omega can cancel out d sigma into double integration is sigma All right and this is your 0 to pi always this is 0 to pi sorry 0 to pi this is 0 to 2 pi okay 0 to pi is for theta and 0 to 2 pi is so theta, theta. 0 to 2 pi is for phi all right yeah so this is the question it's a very good question conceptual it will clear your concept from scattering okay next question uh okay. question number nine question number nine Consider a system of uh, two uh, zero indistinguishable particles, each of which can occupy any of the four lowest energy states of one dimensional infinite potential number of microstates allowed to the system. Okay, this can come under uh, statistical mechanics. Okay, but let's see if it's there already. Let's solve it. Okay, so this is from StatMic, right? So uh, two spin zero. First, tell me from spin zero, what do you understand? Which particle is it? Is it a fermion or a boson? Is it a fermion or a boson? Tell me in the comment section. Two in spin zero particles. Spin zero. Zero means what? It's an integral number. It's not a fraction. You can say zero by two is a fraction. No, not like that. In that way, though, if spin is two, then you can say four by two. No, this is integral. Okay, even in yeah, then you can say even integral, right? Even integral. So even integral is what? What? Boson. Okay. If it is odd integral, that is 1 by 2. Odd integral spin, it's called. Or integral fractional spin, whatever you can say. This is your fermion. Okay. I've done a video in particle physics about it. Boson and fermion. You can check that. It's in my playlist. 2 spin 0 that is a boson okay 2 bosons bosons are what indistinguishable quantum particles are indistinguishable particles okay so this is your 
indistinguishable okay you can write a point quantum particles are indistinguishable particles okay so bosons fermions are also indistinguishable but the difference is this is spin integrals integral uh, spin this is or integral spin there is 1 by 2 3 by 2 5 by 2 and all this is 0 1 2 and all right so this is bosons each of which can occupy any of the four lowest energy states of a one dimensional infinite potential well okay so see you can do it this way these are four lowest energy states of 1d infinite potential well so we have to arrange two bosons only two so bosons are indistinguishable another thing another thing spin zero spin zero means what is the how much can one state take 2s plus 1 so 2 into 0 plus 1 is 1 so only one particle can be there in one state okay so this is one boson this is one boson all right isn't it so if i let me do one thing here um like this see i'm not i will do this way also i will do from the formula way also see okay there are four bosons oh, um, like, like sorry there are four bosons right sorry two bosons huh? four states four states suppose state one always like e1 e2 e3 and e4 okay energy energies we don't require see two bosons are will be arranged bosons are only one boson will be there in one state because of 2s plus 1 is equal to 1 so this is this this is an arrangement this is an arrangement this is an arrangement okay now this is one arrangement i cannot interchange them because they are indistinguishable okay in distinguishable okay distinguishable and then uh, this is an arrangement this is an arrangement then what is left from here also this is an arrangement this goes with this also okay now from what now from here this uh, goes with this yeah this is an so let's see one two three four five six seven eight i think something is missing still mm. this one this one this one this 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 uh, this is there mm, where is that oh this one i repeated sorry i repeated this one Okay, wait. Uh, four energy states. See, the direct answer you can get is for bosons, number of microstates is how much? And I plus g i minus 1 factorial and i plus g i minus 1 factorial divided by divided by n i factorial into g i minus 1 factorial g i minus 1 factorial right so n i is the number of particles that is 2 gi is the uh, number of degenerates that is number of states here 4 right 4 minus 1 factorial factorial whole divided by 2 factorial this is 4 minus 1 factorial 4 minus 1 factorial so this becomes 2 4 6 minus 1 that is 5 factorial 5 factorial whole divided by 2 factorial into 3 factorial 
2 factorial into 3 factorial so 5 factorial is 120 divided by 2 into 3 factorial is 6 so 120 by 12 isn't it so the answer is 10 so 10 is the number of microsheets these particles can be arranged so this is through formula you we can also solve it through this but i am getting stuck at somewhere i did it uh, but i don't know how i am getting stuck here somewhere there is a problem I don't know. okay let, let me hold this i will i will try to do it in the next uh, session okay yeah so these are with the questions uh, from quantum mechanics this is the second session we'll have more sessions in the future okay till then thank you thank you very much yeah have a beautiful day